welcome everyone. On View from the Top today, I'm hosting a man who's known to be the mastermind of country's best timed corporate exit, Sunil Godwani, also well known as a brain behind the Singh Brothers exit from Ranbaxy at the best time possible. As Chief Executive and Managing Director of Relegate today, Sunil's a man in a hurry. He's right now blazing ahead to build one of India's most formidable financial services and healthcare businesses. Sunil, welcome on the show. Thank you. Let me start with the, the story that you told us. You said, you know, you were close to the family and you had an account with Relicare. Something made you unhappy and you complained to Malvinder and Malvinder turned around and said, don't complain, just fix it. That was a beginning, wasn't it? Well, in a way, yes. Less emphasis on the word unhappy though. <laughs> there was an issue that uh, the business was uh, growing. It was pretty much dormant after the IT boom and they felt, listen, Let's come in together. We have been family friends and let's see what we can do together on the financial services. Mm -hmm. That's how it all started. There were about 18 people that time. We had two offices. And today, from there where we were, 90% of the people are still in the company. We have grown to over 1,600 offices. There are close to 14,000 plus people. So that was a humble beginning and we like to rem remember our roots. And how many years has that taken? I joined on 1st August 2001. The first year, I think, practically would write off. It was just understanding, meeting people, and I need to appreciate the fact I knew nothing about stock markets. I practically didn't even know what a stock market was, what an equity is, not that I claim to have any better knowledge today. But, you know, I mean, that time was pretty raw, and I, but always had the luck and the good fortune having a great set of people around me. Mm -hmm. I think it's been a function of teams and systems, and the team is still there, very much there, performing, and they have grown, evolved into larger teams and more people around it. All right. Let's talk about the portfolio of businesses that you have currently. I understand financial services and healthcare. What I don't understand is the focus on, let's say, aviation, travel, retail, media, through your Vistar fund. Aren't these businesses going through a tough time? Let's, let's just take a step back. You see, every business that we got into are the sunrise businesses. India is a growth story. And all these businesses that you just outlined are growth-oriented businesses. Financial services is held on the Relegate Enterprises, which is our holding company, under which we have various subsidiaries that symbolize each business that we run in. However, very clearly, other businesses that we have got into have no cross-share holdings, but they all are targeting businesses with a retail penetration, carrying a huge brand awareness. So if you're looking at, for example, the pathology labs, the Super Relegate Labs business, we touch so many people there on the, on the health side of the business, and that database translates into a huge avenue for data mining for us on the health insurance side, on life insurance side. So there is, a, you know, it's, it's actually all about touching a client 360 degrees. Mm -hmm. So you're talking to an end user, you are managing the finance, you're managing the diagnostics health, you're even they're touching you when you're going to the shopping into some health pharma stores, you know, and on the wealth management side, on the Macquarie side, they're actually interacting with you using a private jets. So if you actually look at it, the flip side, you are touching a client in various facets and all these businesses will evolve into full grown businesses mm -hmm. because they are all businesses which are the growth area. I mean, India is a growing economy. Tubar .com.